revs. Okay, a slight rev. I'm right at the engagement point of the clutch. So it's just ready to take off. But right. I'm not, you know. So and that's important because if you a lot of people pull it in too far and when they pull it on in too far, mostly to their fingers, from their fingers to the, actually where the clutch engages, and this is most on most hydraulic clutches. Yeah. Which hydraulic clutches but are way better in my opinion. But yes they are. I rode a clutch drive the or clutch drive. I, this is a jap bike no offense to jap bike sorry yeah but with a with a regular cable clutch and it's like man it's just so we, we're so spoiled with this yeah no. <laughs> but one finger <clears throat> and the control you yeah. know i feel it's control yeah better control. yeah the modulation yep okay so engagement points where we start it's wound up i do have the front brake engaged just a little bit just to slow because it's just to that point <clears throat> and then it's just am i popping the clutch i'm giving it gas and letting it out smooth i'm not popping it right okay Am I done with it as soon as I let go of it? No, okay? Because I want to just give that feed a bike length out. So it's like a skirt to get the bike rolling and then I'm still feeding it to get that dry. Right. What I'm saying is people let it out too far and too quick Yeah. and, and the bike goes spin. rough. Right. So finding that feed, you know, this teaches you to find that feed. You're just finding okay. that control with your yep. finger. Very hard to find, but it's just a, I don't like to use the word slick, but it's controlled. Um, should I watch you do it? Yes, I was gonna say it. Laz was talking about it and then yeah. I'm gonna demonstrate. But like I said before, it's it's a constant drive straight up the hill. Yeah. You'll know, you'll feel when you get it right, you're like, okay, got it. And eventually where you'll you can shoot off the top. No, granted, you know it kind of drops off on yeah. the top. Here's the thing that most times I see when guys get used to this, they drop the clutch, drop the hammer, rut, bike spins, front wheel goes in the air, pull the clutch back in about bike lengths from the top and they roll backwards down the Right, <laughs> right. But that's the thing, we pull it right back in. Feed to get that control up the hill. Right. And the thing is, once you get good at this, you can find the steepest hill, even like there, and play around with yeah. it, starting from the bottom. That demonstrates good clutch control. control. Okay, and then where does that tra transfer? Into the woods. Anytime you accelerate, it's smooth clutch control to get that power in that taller gear. Right. All right, so this is where that drill applies. It don't make me sweat. No, it's all right. Second gear. We're we'll starting here, but when we get better at it, we'll close it. on the clutch which is fine yeah, yeah that's great that's better than not having any at all and just rest. but now instead of going to the one which is our goal go to just two middle okay so we're going to get all my hand, I can't, was it really yeah i never do that it's so yeah. weird but you know what i couldn't tell and it is something that i see often when a guy's getting used to that They're, they'll use their two middles but their fingers will be out like this that's weird. But I'm like, dude, you still got to hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's just one of those yeah, yeah. things that we do. Okay. So, consciously, fingers and then control the clutch from here. So, starting out of the gate, it should be that yeah, way. Yeah, okay. All right. Try a little, to get A little more feed, a little more grunt. <laughs> wound up more wound up yep and because here's the thing i want you to scream to where you're like because a lot of times when people do that they're like scared yeah oh crap what's gonna happen <laughs> but understand it's good because you hear that then you get over that you know hearing that right and then understand that even though it's here i can control it here control the whole thing okay
That was better. Yep. Yeah. And then sometimes I've noticed like, let's just do it together, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you get that. Yeah. Uh, I'm very visual, so if I see it, oh like yeah, I, oh yeah, me too. Yep. I was born up old school, man. My dad was a type guy. Yeah. Go do that. <laughs> and the auto repair industry was like 13 years old, and like, hey, Richard, pull that Jeep in here, and I couldn't even drive. Take the wheels off of it and put brakes on the front of it. And just look at him and don't bother back talk. Yeah. Just go get it. <laughs> yeah, go get it done. And then the thing was, then it was like, if you did something wrong, it was like, okay, so you won't do it that way again. Nope. All right, figure it out. You know? Yeah. So it was more hands-on. That's some of the way people teach. I don't like that way. <laughs> yeah. Go figure. Yep. No, but it's fine. Um. And then, like, even I, because I learned that even with doing jumps, sometimes if you time a jump following something over something, the acceleration, the timing comes into play a lot. Yeah. Better. But with just that, when we do it together, the hear, you know, hearing the motor, all that. Same thing with this. Breathe. Look up. Let's just do it together. I want to give you as much room as possible. I would say that... Would you say rear brake is tougher to control than the front for you? Like, where are you at right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm probably more on-off with the rear brake than modulating it well. Yeah. So, you're already probably getting the idea that I'm about um, breaking things down. So yeah. with that being said, like I said, sitting, standing, you know, different body position and whatnot. I know we're getting fogged here. You can probably take them off if you want. But. No, it's okay. Um, let's do the braking drill, but let's just disregard the front brake and, and focus on the rear. Okay. Leg tight, so we're just trying to slow our roll down, focusing on the rear brake. Okay. Little drag on, neutral. rear brake, body position. Trying to get it in neutral. <laughs> I know, that's the only part yeah. about this, you got to find neutral. Okay, yep. So it's just eliminating that little bit of uh. yep. leg tight. Alright, now right into the clutch drill. But um let's just roll into it speed. Okay. Yeah. To get used to the middle finger. Mm -hmm. It's a, a lot, lot of, of recon a lot of break. reconstruction. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Um. Just rear, because we're still trying to eliminate that little deal. Yep. Body position, butt back, right? Counterbalance. Slowing the spin of the wheel down, but not locking. So all you're trying to do is break, or I'm sorry, put in better habits in effect. Yep. Standing again, but second, we're just gonna roll right in. So we're gonna stand through this hill. Stand, yeah, okay. Standing, 
clutch drill up there. Okay. Modulating the brake, shifting the hips back and forth.
34 minutes. Yeah, let's do another one.